Mountain Blade Warband uh, is the sequel to the uh, Mountain Blade game, original Mountain Blade game, uh, which was released in 2008. Um, basically, Mountain Blade is a, a blend of action, strategy, and RPG genres. Uh, and um, its most exciting features is are uh, combining some sort of uh, sandbox gameplay where you can roam around the world, um, attract new soldiers and make, our, make yourself a war party uh, and at the same time um, go into the action yourself and fight against your enemies and be in the thick of the battles and still command your soldiers and give them orders at the same time. And still, uh, it has a, a single, uh, single player um, uh, uh, RPG aspect where you develop your character and you have party members uh, and you try to uh, look after those characters and make sure they level up and uh, they uh, attribute, uh, they, you um, uh, give them skill points. Uh, and uh, it combines all these uh, aspects and uh, has a very different and unique gameplay in general. In Mountain Blade Warband, uh, we are basically building everything uh, on Mountain Blade because since the original Mountain Blade was uh, very much liked uh, in terms of um, its sword fighting system, original sword fighting system in terms of its uh, general mechanics, uh, we are trying to keep those, but also uh, build upon those without changing what really works. So, uh, sword writing system is at its core the same thing, uh, but uh, we are polishing the animations, we are adding motion captured animations, and uh, we are trying to make sure that everything works more fluidly. Uh, for example, I mean, on horseback, it was the case that uh, you, you had to fix your lens uh, at a certain uh, angle, uh, at a certain uh, spot when you were uh, coaching it. In, in Mountain Blade Warband, you can just move it around freely. Uh, we are adding small touches like, uh, for example, you, can, you will be able to pick any kind, any kind of thrown weapon from the ground. For example, if you're, one of your enemies uh, throws an uh, axe to you, uh, and misses, you will just be able to uh, grab it from uh, the ground and uh, hurl it back, back at him, uh, things like that. So uh, there will be lots of small but I think fun, exciting improvements. In Warband, uh, we are introducing, we are, we are enlarging the uh, map and uh, we are introducing a sixth faction, uh, which are the uh, uh, Saranit Sultanate. Uh, and as the name implies, uh, they represent the um, uh, um, uh, Arabic uh, or uh, Moor, Moorish uh, cultures. Uh, and um, we find them very interesting because uh, they are a des desert faction and uh, their, their towns really look very, uh, you know, with palm trees and in the middle of desert and uh, they, they look very uh, beautiful and uh, they, they have their own uh, different style of equipment uh, and they, they will basically be uh, a more uh, a faction uh, be, uh, uh, concentrated on uh, agility and fast horses and things like that. Uh, the central new feature uh, in the uh, single player aspect is going to be that uh, now you will be able to become the ruler of your own faction. So basically you will just be another power uh, that tries to um, gain uh, um, uh, just tries to dominate the world of Calradia. But since you are a newcomer uh, you, will, you will have a tough job in front of you because there are already six kingdoms that are established themselves to, to gain uh, any kind of advantage against them, you will have to attract their nobles, their lords to your side. And that will be a very challenging task because all these lords uh, have uh, different personalities and they have different agendas and they have different rivalries. You have to take all those into account in order to win them over. And, uh, we, uh, and that translated into a lot of depth into the game. So uh, the diplomacy in the game has become 
uh, I think much more fun and interesting uh, and um, uh, and it uh, complements the fighting aspect of the game very well uh, I think and uh, so uh, uh, as usual you won't have to uh, try to be the ruler of the uh, I don't the, the world so you can just say that your objective is just being a mercenary and you can just go that path and that's perfectly okay and you can just be a loyal f follower of one of the existing kings uh, so that path is still open but if, if you want to uh, become the ruler of the world then there is a very interesting and very deep sophisticated game that's waiting for you.